Well, hello, I'm Bob Dendry. This is Boring Guy Plays, and welcome back to City Skylines 2, where we are building Azure Delta. So, last episode, we obviously cleared up, you know, all the old farming, a little bit of the industry in this area that we're looking at now, and we started to establish some new, you know, suburbia-type uses. And as you can see, well, this intersection isn't going well. <laughs> now, there's a couple of things we can do here. Um, first of all, this intersection here is causing much of the issue uh, because we have cars sort of stacking up trying to turn right i think we potentially might even turn off right turns for hmm i was gonna say turn off right turns but then you sort of don't have another opportunity for quite a while to turn right there at all do you other thing we could do is actually remove this intersection and connect this one instead um, that gives us a little bit more in terms of um, sort of separation from this main road. I think we might do that to start with. Now, this should hopefully be pretty simple to do. We should punch it through like that. And that should not create too many segments, hopefully. And then what I'm going to quickly do, we're going to pause, remove our roads there. And we're just going to do like we you know, did it this sort of part here. We're going to add in um, a little bit of a stub road that goes all the way to the main road, but doesn't actually connect up to it. So there we go. We've got that done. And then what I might do is actually um, sort of reverse the asymmetric road here. So we've obviously got three lanes here going out and we might have three lanes here to allow a dedicated turning lane and that should hopefully sort of reduce buses and stuff like that being um, held up by cars wanting to turn. In fact, it's probably the buses that want to turn. And we probably do actually need to look at our bus routes through this area because I would suggest they're all messed up. And we've got the opportunity to add more stops along this section here as well, along Empire Street. So we'll unpause anyway, because we don't need to be paused. And then we will get a five lane asymmetric road placed here like so and hopefully that should help to free up a little bit extra capacity one thing i'm actually really excited by is the road builder 2 mod it's not out yet well it is out for like some private testers which i'm not one of and it supposedly is going to allow you to um, sort of build modular roads in game and it should also save those as part of the save game so hopefully we won't have situations where we've got um, like broken saves due to updates and things like that, which is why I'm hesitant to use the asset packs that are being released right now because they are, you know, not officially supported yet until well, I think there's an update pretty much any day now for asset packs. So once the road builder mod comes out, I'm definitely going to be refreshing, I think, some of my intersections using that and probably do a quick walkthrough of it as well. But as I said, it's not available at this time. So instead we'll add some one-way roads as slip lanes. Don't know why that's over, I suppose they're sort of illegal roads there, aren't they? Which is fine, we can probably use Anarchy to get away with that and we might turn off snapping as well. So I think that should be fine there. We should be right to connect that up at sort of the same place. And just need to fix up some of our connections. Perfect. That looks good. Something that would be great if we could. In fact, we could. We could add. Now, it's probably fine, actually. Uh, we'll remove our traffic lights as well. Don't need those. And we'll remove the pedestrian crossings if we can. There as well. Yeah, perfect. Um, it's a little bit ugly, but that should be fairly functional. And we'll just need to do all the same stuff there as well. Ah, yes. Also need to do all this stuff as well, don't we? Turn off these ones. Turn off these crossings. Uh, 
No right turns. We might just use this instead. That's fine. Um, so we'll remove U-turns. Remove unsafe. And I think... That's all good to go there. All right, that should function now. Ooh, a lot of people walking. What's what's the go with that? Are they just walking across the bridge? Just wanting to... Wow, what is happening? They're getting off the train and they're walking. Okay. Um, come back to that in a sec because obviously we've got um, some unmet needs there. I just want to clean this up a little bit here before we go on and do that. Happy with... Pretty much everything here. I just extend the asymmetric road a little bit further though. Maybe that as well. Yeah, I think that is pretty good. And are we all still set up with our protected right turns or that? Yeah, perfect. All right. Um, so you, I think that is going to function pretty well now. We, of course, need to wait for it to, you know, even out and all that. But I think we're looking pretty good. Don't know what all of this is, though. That's a bit, bit uggo. Let's see if we can fix... Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a little bit of a... A little bit of the old poking. Cool stuff. So, our bus route is completely broken and we're also very clearly need one from this train station as well because we've got so many people walking to it, which is great, you know. Obviously, walking, great exercise. Fantastic stuff, team, in that regards. Um, but when you've got, like, hundreds of people like this I think it looks pretty cool but is that the best? Probably not we probably need to supply some public transport for them so we are going to go ahead and do that we do have our existing route that comes from old Azure Delta and it's of course broken now because we originally had it turning um, you know left of Garland Street and having stops here and stuff like that which isn't necessary anymore so it just sort of makes it go a bit gross and broken. So, what we will do, let's get some... Yeah, this is completely, completely strange, isn't it? Uh, we might actually have it just following the main road all the way over into here. I have a couple of stops as well. Oh, apparently we can't. Overlapping items. Not anymore. We might actually need to move this little stub road a tiny bit back because it is disagreeing with some things, let's say. We'll, of course, have a stop outside of our bus depot, as you do. And then, yeah, we will head into... Blue Gum Hills itself. You can probably reuse that existing stop. So pretty much we're going to be getting rid of these two stops here and that one over there. Obviously because that serves absolutely no purpose now. And people might be a little bit upset that we're getting rid of some stops. And that's fair enough. But... It's going to help us out in the long run. We've now made <laughs> like a circuit route now. Good job, team. So what we might need to do is grab this one and put it over here. 
All right, so that should now be a nice usable bus route. It does. It doesn't make the most sense now that it goes down to our harbour, but we'll probably do some redevelopment here anyway in the not too distant future. So, hey, is what it is. And yeah, I would like to get a route set up from our station because obviously there is seemingly quite large demand for it. Get this stop here. We might get a little turning circle or something like that built in over here. Of course, we also have these new roundabouts that have come out with a detailing um, update, which you can also zone on as well, which is I, I think is a good change, uh, to be honest. If you're using this for cul-de-sacs anyway, of course, you don't want to be zoning on um, a roundabout normally, but I think that makes sense to have it there. And we might get a couple of stops on Garland Street, though, of course, there's not going to be really massive demand for people getting on and off. Um, but let's do it anyway. In fact, we probably don't even need a couple. We probably just need... Um, hmm. Actually, thinking about it, we don't need stops on Garland Street. There's not really any point in that. So that's fine. Um... Probably just have this follow the same sort of stop pattern as our Alders Your Delta um, bus, I think. We don't need to do anything tricky or special there. Yeah, we'll have it terminate in Blue Gum Hills rather than continuing on because, yeah, we don't really need that stop at all. But we'll just leave it in there for the moment anyway. And now we should hopefully start to see some of our sims hopping over to this bus stop over here rather than making this big long journey across the bridge and you know holding up traffic here and stuff like that you notice we've got a little bit of spare space here obviously we haven't um developed the largest houses we could get in here so we've got a little bit of space i wonder if we've got a tiny little park it's not a tiny little park at all yeah we can it's a... How do I get it to go the other way? There. I can fit one of those in. Um, is there anything else we can get in? Maybe like a... Oh, no. <laughs> um, playground. We can definitely fit in. Yeah, perfect. And we might use move it. We'll just shift this along a little bit. And we'll get a little bit of landscaping just to give these people a little bit of privacy from the park, considering they don't even have a back fence. So. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little bit of a hub for chilling out or whatever. <laughs> But we've got demand for everything once again, as we can see. So we've, of course, got uh, still a large amount of land here to work with. I do want to get another sort of neighborhood in this area up. But uh, before that, I want to do a bit more agricultural and industrial type development over here because we've got, of course, as we know, the this little bit here and we've got a large deficit in terms of our coal. So we might get a further coal mine in over here. So I think we're going to get our main building probably about here or so. We want to try and get all of that, you know, dark blue um, type stuff. And we'll basically give it the same treatment we gave our other industrial areas. Just make them as big and as, you know, maximum coverage we can get. going to do the old gravel road trick here as well. That's a 
a massive, massive grade. That's actually a bit ridiculous. Um, at least, <laughs> at least only empty trucks are going to be going up, I suppose. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do something about this, aren't we? I probably should have contours on so I can actually see what I'm doing here. And we might just take this a little bit further out. Um, just so we're not too close to the intersection for the town. Uh, this looks a little bit broken here. Yeah, it is. So... Can we fix that? There we go. A little bit better. That should give us access to everything. And we will just close up that little bit of a uh, gap we've got left with our coverage. I don't think it's really going to increase the harvestable resources at all, but just give us that maximum coverage just in case. Actually, we're getting a very, very minor increase, so better than nothing, I suppose. And while we're over in this part of the world, there is something that I actually forgot to do when I built the uh, airport, and that is to hook up the rail line. Well, the line itself is hooked up anyway, but we don't have a route set up. And it probably makes sense to actually set it up. We do, of course, have the um, bus. We've got a couple of different buses available, but the rail line will offer a few more um, destinations, I would say. So what we might do is set up a sort of semi-express or limited stops service uh, that will run from our main station over here at Town Hall over to the airport. And we do actually have an opportunity to also get a little bit of public transport organised for this new neighbourhood as well. Because of course we do have this line that runs pretty much, you know, around the back of our suburb, which was originally set up to be our access for the um, uh, the port over here. But of course, the port is no longer connected. Um, we do, of course, have um, trains heading over to our cargo harbour. But of course, we've got some opportunity to get some rail service into here as well. And we're going to take that. Now, we do actually have a few new options of train stations. So previously, we only had this option here, which was a you know, a six track station. And while I think it looks really cool, for some locations, we just don't need three pairs of track. Like here's another one over here, which we are probably never going to need all of those pairs of track, but I'm not going to do anything with that one. What I'm going to do at this stage, we're going to get a small train station in here. Now, I'm not sure if this can be upgraded with a Metro. If it can, we might actually look to replace this guy over here as well, but not 100% sure, so we're just going to get it down. We will need it to be facing in this direction. That will allow nice, easy road access. And we will, yeah, just plop it down like so. And let's have a look. What do we have? Ticket machine. So no, we don't actually have the option to put a metro in there, and that's fine. This is a very basic sort of station, isn't it? What happens if we put ticket machines in here? Yeah, that's pretty cool. We might actually upgrade it with ticket machines. And yeah, what we need to do now is to feed our station or our, our line up into there and then back out again. We might even be better off if we can move it down a little bit further and try and get it to level with the freight line as well, just for ease of use, which we can use, of course, uh, move it to get that done. There we go. So that line should now be pretty much the right height. We might lose a business or two, which is unfortunate because of course we've just laid those down. But it's fine. Is that our complex curve tool? Yes, it is. It might actually be all right. Yeah. I would say perfect. Definitely not the most perfect, but 
It still works. Sort of. Eh, hang on. Let's try this again, shall we? Use our terraforming tool, our slope terrain tool. And that should hopefully do it. Yeah, that's much nicer there now. And we'll do the same in the other direction as well. We don't really even need the slope terrain tool because the difference is so, so minor, but it's okay. It's fine. There we go. Uh, we just need a connection now to the road. Yeah, nice, decent. So we've got all of our demands met there and now we can get a line set up. I was going to say we were going to do limited stops, but this is sort of also going to be used as a suburban route as well. So I think we might just do all stops as well on this one. And what that's going to look like, we are going to start course over here once again. Ooh. We might actually need... Yeah, we're actually going to need a cross over here. Which is fine. It might be fine. <laughs> These might be a little bit close together, actually. No, there we go. That works fine. Just because we've, of course, got a lot of lines coming in and out. And we've got a spare terminus platform there, so we're going to use it. There we go. So, got yet another train line set up. So, very cool to see. Um, hopefully, we've got enough trains. Um, how do we find that out? Hang on. 10 of 10. Uh, 10 of 10 as well, I'm guessing. Or 15 of 15. So, we need... Extra tracks. Let's see how we go. We might actually need more or another rail yard. But we'll just leave it for a few moments just to, you know, stabilize and work out what it's doing, that sort of thing. So hopefully this is a little bit more connectivity for this community as well as, of course, offering another route into the airport for citizens, you know, all around the city. But um, that does slightly change, I think, our plan in terms of this new suburb. Just slightly. So I was originally planning to this episode expand onto this unused plot of land. But now that we've got the station here, we may as well actually build up a tiny bit of density around the station. And then just have some lower density stuff kicking on. Of course, we're still quite close to a landfill. But I think we're, yeah, we're pretty much okay. I might place a, sort of just a road along here that gives us a boundary for where we start to hit ground pollution. What about air pollution? Air pollution is, I mean, it's pretty decent, to be honest. We're looking pretty good. So what we might do then, uh, let's have this little tree here as our sort of border. And we'll aim to have it connect up here, I think. I don't think we actually need to have a four-lane road here. It doesn't really make that much sense. So we might actually devolve this and add some further zoning in. Be 
be great if we could get around this bus depot. <laughs> or we could just give it the uh, the old move. Not the most realistic, I know. Um, but... It's going to work to our favor, I think. So this is our sort of corner, border, whatever you want to call it. We can curve that around there. Looking pretty good. And from there we can join up here. So we've got a little bit of space to work with now. I want to try and maintain uh, some of our existing sort of access points. Like this guy over here, if we can connect in there. And we'll do the same here. Perfect. Uh, which, of course, gives us a little bit of an unusual sort of grid. Um, but within this area here, we're going to get a little bit more um, conservative and a little bit more traditional in our gridding, I think. Alrighty, we've got a bit more grid down here. As I said, it's not the most traditional grid, but um, we do have some more sort of regular stuff through the middle there. And I think it looks all right. I think it adds a little bit of interest, um, but hopefully will still allow some fairly tight, neat gridding. So we've got our station over here. So we will allow a little bit of high density. And by higher density, I mean medium density. We're not going overboard here. Um, it is, you know, the burbs still. So we might get uh, just a few sort of pockets directly surrounding the station. Might get a little bit of mixed use as well. And yeah. Pretty much everything is going to be low density with a little bit of, or low density residential, I should say, with a little bit of low density commercial around the place as well. And I think it would be good if we could get something a little bit more civic related in here. I also wondering if we can improve Empire Street here a little bit because it's a little bit broken. Use our complex curve tool. If we can maintain a Yeah, that's a little bit neater there. And we will also need to replace the bus that we pulled out as well. There we go. In fact, we might move this guy to there. Because there's no need to have them both there anymore because our bus depot's been moved. We can drag this guy over there instead. And this guy as well. There we go. Oh, actually, it means we can probably pull out one stop as well. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And yeah, over here, um, some sort of civic use I think would be good. 
We need a high school in this area as well, do we? An elementary school. Well, we're going to need to make this a little bit bigger as well, aren't we? I think oh, we do, actually. Blue Gum Hills. Just expand Blue Gum Hills. Are we overlapping? We're overlapping over here, are we? Okay, that's all a bit weird. Um, yeah, we'll expand the Blue Gum Hills district. We're probably actually going to split it, I would say. Maybe split it along this main road. But for the moment, we're just going to maintain the one district. And we'll, of course, need to select operating districts for this guy. I forgot to do that last week. Um, what are you operating on? Your Blue Gum and Parker Heights? This one, we might go Blue Gum and Platypus Park. In terms of health, we're looking pretty good. I did notice that I put two clinics next to each other. <laughs> so, uh, weird. Bit weird, um, but I'm just going to leave it for the moment. It's fine. We probably maybe can deviate one of our bus routes to go via the station now as well um, to give us a bit of variety. Maybe the one that... Is it not, is it sort of even, mm, I was going to say there's not even the need for the route from the, mm, actually there probably isn't, but I'm going to leave it in there just for the moment. Uh, but yeah, we'll use the old Azure Delta route and we will have that go via the station. All right, there we go. Uh, that gives us a little bit more public transport for our train station. Do we have anyone using the station? Looks like we've got... I mean, we've got a few. Um, not a massive number. But yeah, some people are using it. That's good. Actually, no, we've got decent patronage. We've even got a few passengers waiting to go back. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. What we might actually do here, we will build a high school. Maybe an urban high school? What's our difference? Same student capacity. Ooh. We can have a rooftop. Sports park and extension floors. Yeah, let's do that. So how do we, what, what does this look like? Oh, that's cool. And the sports park goes on the other side. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. That's a really cool asset. Very cool indeed. And this will be... What are we going to call this one? Walnut Street High. It actually leaves us a heap more... <laughs> heap more land we can use here. So we can probably get another sort of large park-ish thing down here. Maybe this multi-purpose park. Yeah, that seems to... Yeah, I think that works pretty well. And we can connect up a few pathways around the place as well. I think this is a pretty cool little spot. We can definitely get in a few more park assets, maybe. No, not a large sports field. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Community pool? I mean, it probably fits. We can anarchy it in, and then we can just shift it back a little tiny bit off the road using move it.
Yeah. And we can just fill in the rest of this area with a bit of landscaping. Oh, Marketplace. That looks really cool. Um, that looks like sort of a bit of a shopping complex. That might be something that goes well in this area, but um, let's get our trees and stuff in first. Actually, I forgot where we're putting our community pool here. <laughs> Let's get that back in. And I think that is a really good looking little educational complex there. So I'm yeah really happy with what we've been able to get in this somewhat oddly shaped and somewhat large block. And I'm looking at our demand indicators and we are once again way out of control. So we're going to go ahead and develop this uh, tip of land here, I think. So we'll need to... Actually, we probably don't really need to do all that much. Um, certainly, Strawberry Street will probably cut back to Elizabeth Street and relay it, realign it. We do have our transformer station as well, which is where... Do we have... Let's have a look. Do we have... Yeah, we do have high voltage going between... Well, it was between our power plants, um, which of course is not there anymore. Um, but... Do we need the transformer there anymore? I don't know. We might be okay without it. Otherwise, we can replace it somewhere different, maybe in the Parker Heights area. But I think for the moment, we don't need this here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that. No, we're not going to remove that. It doesn't want to be removed. Well, we've moved it and the high voltage lines are still connected. So we should see shortly if we're going to have some issues with power losses. But it looks like we're all right for the moment. I'm going to try and remove this again. Apparently, oh, okay, never mind. It's because I actually turned off <laughs> the ability to pull out buildings earlier. So it's fine. There is actually no issue there. Uh, we have potentially some water issues. No, they're fine. Just got a little stub there that needs to be removed and pulled out of the way. Cool. Alrighty, so in that case, we're good to get this zoned out. Let's have a look at... Our contours aren't that bad, to be honest. Um... I mean, we've got, obviously got a little bit of a drop off to the river. What are you complaining about? Ooh, okay. So we potentially going to have some issues with water shortages. Wastewater treatment plant as well. Okay, so hang on. Before we do that, let's have a look. So we've got very small amount of wiggle room there. So we might need to get an additional water pumping station in. And we want to try and get this in an area that is not polluted. Anything like that? And potentially we can see if we can get... Okay, over here. 
could get a pumping station on the grounds of our university, potentially. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Let's do that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that whatsoever. Maybe they do some research and stuff here as well into... Stuff. Who knows? Um, but... Yes, it looks like those errors that we have... Looks like those little warnings we had coming up are now no longer there. So, back to... Um, you know, plotting out this new part of the suburb. So we've got two roads that will head under our highway. That's good. And it'll allow people to get around without having to conflict with the highway. Um, which does look to be going okay at the moment as well, which is good to see. Now, in terms of our contours. So we want to have a nice flat area, definitely. We can probably level out this sort of area as the highest point. I don't think we need to go any higher than that, to be honest. That gives us a lot more land or a lot more area that we can use. And... What we could maybe do is use our slope terrain tool. That didn't work. A slope terrain tool, no. <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, because we need to head under. So, let's see. Probably trying to level out there. It's low-ish. No, it is, it is quite low. We should probably try and reverse that to what it was before. Oh god, I am absolutely stuffing this. Okay, um, that should be a bit better now. And let's get a little bit of grid. I might also, just sort of on the sort of very edge of the peninsula, um, or as edgy as we can get it, we might place a unique building down as well. I think we might go with the Sculptor's Mansion. And we'll keep it like so. I don't know if you even have that good a view, do you? I mean, not really. But, I mean, maybe one day this will be converted into something a little bit less gross. But I mean, it's pretty cool. you got a nice little tennis court there. Actually, it's a really nice building, isn't it? Got a little bit of a gym as well. Sculptor. Interesting. Well, yeah, I think that is nice. And next we need to get our grid down. And we're going to try and keep this fairly respectful for or to the topography, I think. And just wondering how it'll go. Might see if we can work out where our main road will terminate and then we can sort of grid off from there. I, I want to try and keep this reasonably reasonably easy to grid out. Uh, I don't want it to be too unusual or too weird. So we might have this road potentially a nice good straight segment. And maybe even just have it come around here and terminating it as like a roundabout or something like that. Let's get rid of that little bit there. We might see if we can push this out just a little bit further, not anything too dramatic. So if we just punch this through at a 180, it's actually pretty decent to be honest. So we could take this back Probably not that far back. Then that will allow us to tee in. 
at a 90, maybe about here or so. And we'll get a roundabout down. Possibly that one. Yeah, I think that's pretty decent. And then, yeah, we've got plenty of opportunity to grid out a bit more. Okay, let's do complex curve to join these up. Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. Now you'll notice I have pushed our celebrity mansion back off the road a bit. And I think what we might do here is maybe get like a, I'm gonna say pedestrian street, but they're very large. So we might just need to do a, an alley, I think. And we might do like a little bit of an estate. I think that'll look all right. But anyway, let's get some gridding happening here. We might need to push the shore back just a little bit and we can get some waterfront housing down here, which might sort of attract in um, maybe some more sophisticated owners or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about right now, uh, <laughs> which you can probably tell. But we should be able to flatten this out a little bit as well. So yeah, we've got a nice bit of new gridding or new zoning we can put down. I've messed up some of it a little bit, but I think overall it should be fine. I wonder if we can use the zoning to, actually I can see somewhere where I've messed it up right here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to fix this because it doesn't look nice. All right, so I had to lay down or relay down a fair bit of that because, yeah, it didn't quite line up properly, which is unfortunate, but it's all good. It worked out in the end. I think we've got some pretty nice grid here. Cool. So um, I think we will get some further commercial down this strip of road here. Um, and... Probably the remainder is just going to be low density. We'll get some waterfront housing maybe on this side of the... Well, actually, in fact, probably on this side of the roundabout. So we don't have waterfront housing looking out onto our rail line. We might get a little bit more commercial on that section as well. Uh, other thing I actually want to do is get some fencing up to cut off zoning here, which may allow us to zone on these roads in future. Maybe... Let's see, what can we do to make that happen? If we like put a pavement down here, yeah, that has that effect, okay. 
All right. So let's get zoning. So, wow, look at all of that. Massive amount of demand there. So I've left a few spaces. Um, so I've left a space here. Did I leave a space there? Yeah, we've got a space there as well. Here and here. And I want to get some civic services in there as well as... In fact, I've actually forgotten something. Slip lanes. We, we sort of made the decision that we were going to use slip lanes to ease some of the pressure on this intersection and we completely forgot to do it. So <laughs> there you go. Um, so I'm going to quickly fix that now. So what we will do, we're going to increase this segment here to like so. And we will get a couple of one-way roads. And yeah, that should be taken care of now. So crisis averted. It's a little bit ugly, but it's not too bad. Actually, we might have to remove some traffic lights as well. Yeah, remove those ones. In fact, it was just those ones. And some crossings we need to remove as well. Cool. Alrighty, so now civic services. So I'm just gonna once again go through sort of everything. So our healthcare availability here is pretty decent, probably because we got two clinics right next to each other, right? Um, but we can possibly squeeze one in somewhere. one of these little gaps we've got left. Uh, fire, surprisingly, is okay. We don't have a station anywhere here, actually. So we probably actually do need to get something down somewhere. Though not necessarily in this area. We could even sneak it in over here. Police, we are, yeah, A-OK, -okay, no problems there whatsoever. Education I skipped through because obviously we're still having issues with education. And I'm wondering, no, that's way too high, that area. We're not going to fit that in there either. So we're probably not going to get... Oh, no, sorry, we do have a small elementary school. So, yeah, we do have do have that. But we probably actually need high school more than elementary at this point, don't we? So we might see. The full high school is way too big. What about the small high school? Oh. If we take this road here and convert it into a... Alley, we might just have enough space. Let's turn off snapping. Oh, so close. That's frustrating. <laughs> we are so damn close to being able to fit in there, but no, we 
just missing out. I don't want to put a high school here because I want to make this a nice public park area. So we might need to take the sort of loss, it's not really a loss, and get the elementary school in there. Extension wing, we can probably get in somewhere, right? All the way over here. No, distance too long. <laughs> okay. Um, right. There's a slight problem. We've also got a slight problem here because these are way too big. So I'm going to make some people unhappy and unzone. That, though apparently they're not that unhappy about it. <laughs> All right, so we got some problems with education um, and we're not going to be able to solve them in this build. But that's okay. We could even get some in this built up area here. So I was looking at this before and I'll show you. On our info view, our ground pollution's all gone here. So we have the opportunity to use a little bit more of this area. And we might do that. I think we could definitely get in an elementary school there. And probably another urban high school. I actually really like this. I think it's a really cool building. Have a look at this. It's, it's nice. So we can add more on top of that. What is this? Courtyard playground. Where does that go? Oh, that's really cool. I love that. That's actually a really good asset. I'm a big fan. So we'll probably do the same with these. We will increase them. And what we can actually do with this now, we can set our operating districts to Parker Heights, Palmer Square, Bedford Terrace on both of these. Now, what that actually allows us to do is take our schools we have here and actually, well, that one's fine because it's going to Platypus Park, but actually remove Parker Heights and just have them set for Blue Gum Hills. That should shift some of, I actually might remove Platypus Park as well because everything's a bit full. That should remove some of the demand. Hopefully. I'm not seeing it though. <laughs> All our schools are pretty much full up. That's probably going to be a problem for another day, let's be honest. So what I want to do here now, um, just to finish off, um, make our nice little park area here. We might in fact even remove Thornton Street and have this whole area as public parkland. And then I just want to do a little bit of detailing on our sculptor mansion as well. And we might, rather than sort of placing things in all neat rows like we did over here. This one might be a little bit more of a, just a slap shop type thing. Just, you know, trees and bushes and stuff will just go where they go.
But yeah, pretty much out of time now. So this will probably be a longer episode again. And I hope that is okay with you. Certainly, we're reaping the benefits of moving our agricultural and some of our mining out of this area. And this infill, I think, looks great. I think it looks fantastic and it is just what the city needs. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You'll find links to my social media in the description, so please jump on there, like, follow, subscribe, do all of that wonderful stuff. Big shout out to my Founders Club patron, Caleb. Caleb, thank you so much for helping to make this content possible. If you want to help out at home, you can do so by popping onto patreon.com forward slash Bob Dendry by joining as a member of the YouTube channel, or you can just leave a super thanks on this video if you want to give a one-off thanks for the content. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is City Skylines 2. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.